Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and we're going to do a showdown between these two mobile printers. Uh, now, the last couple of videos I put up were uh, I did a, a review of this Fujifilm Instax printer. Uh, it's kind of like a portable Polaroid printer where you can send photos from your smartphone to the printer and then have nice little prints to hand out. Um, and then the Polaroid uh, with the zinc paper, uh, this Polaroid little printer is, uh, it prints about the same size of photo. It's just um, a little bit more customizable. So, you know, I thought, let's do a video. Let's look at both of them uh, and the pros and cons of both of them and just kind of see, you know, what's good about them and what's not. So what we have here is the Instax with the printer paper that you need for the Instax and the Polaroid with the zinc paper. Um, they're both about a two by three inch print. However, uh, the Instax is a little different because it prints out uh, like a Polaroid with its own border and everything around it. So it, it's like a, a classic Polaroid type of photo. Um, it even comes out like a Polaroid and it even takes a little while for the image to show up like a Polaroid. So you get a little bit more of that nostalgia out of the Instax Fujifilm setup. Now, with the Polaroid, you get a little bit more modern of a print setup. Um, it does still doesn't require any ink because it's everything is happening within the piece of film that is coming through the printer um, or is coming out of the printer. Uh, however, um, you can print full bleed images that go all the way to the edge uh, with the Polaroid. So you get a slightly bigger picture. Now, you can give it a border and give it that Polaroid look, but it has the Polaroid look instead of the actual Polaroid feel, which is kind of odd because this is the Polaroid brand here, and this is not, and this is the more nostalgic kind of standard Polaroid, and this one over here is the more standard photo print that we're used to these days. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, and power both of these up. Uh, keep in mind, uh, in the description below, we've got links to all this stuff. Um, both of these printers are you know, reasonably priced. The printer paper or the film uh, that you run through these printers is also reasonably priced. Um, you know, the the you get a pack of ten in in one of these. These are this is a bulk pack, so I've got dual packs in each of these. So I have six packs. So essentially, 20, 40, 60 prints right here. And then I can also buy the Polaroid packs, which are uh, you know come available in. I believe 10, 30, and 50 packs. I've got the links in the description below so you can check it out. Um, so, you know, this isn't as cheap as just taking pictures and then ordering your prints uh, online at Target or Walgreens or something like that. And, you know, you end up paying like nine cents a print or something like that, 15 cents maybe on the highest. Um, these are gonna be a little bit more expensive uh, simply because, you know, everything, all the technology and everything is built into the paper. Um, so the paper is going to cost a little bit more than a standard photo print. Um, now, if, you, if you're used to printing photos at home on more of like a photo printer, you know that there's the paper costs, there's the cost of the printer when you bought it, and then there's also the ink costs. So if you factor in uh, the fact that you don't have to buy ink for these, you just simply have to buy the photo paper, the pricing doesn't get too bad. And it's nice to be able to have a little like keepsake, something to take away. Um, and these printers are so tiny and mobile that uh, it makes it really easy. So these are the two printers side by side. Obviously the Polaroid Zinc is quite a bit smaller. Um, it does have a little bit smaller, uh, you know, of a footprint for sure. Um, the Paper goes right into the Polaroid printer versus a cartridge that goes into the Instax printer. Um, just to show you what that looks like, um, here's the Instax cartridge inside of the printer, um, and that contains 10 photos. On the Instax printer, you have the lights here on the front that show you how many photos you have available. So it looks like by opening up and closing the door, I just wasted a print, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, that tends to happen on these little printers. Uh, and then inside of this uh, printer, we can slide the top off and we have our photo paper right in here um, that just slides right in and then we just pop our lid right back on like so. So let's go ahead and power these little guys up and we're gonna run a print out of them and just kind of see which ones take longer than, uh, than the other, which one performs a little bit better. 
and then we will compare the photos and uh, see what is the best. So this is the black Polaroid. It comes in a variety of colors. The Instax, I believe, just comes in one color. Um, the Polaroid pretty much just has blank paper that you can order, and then you can customize your print and whatnot in the Polaroid app. However, the Instax, because it does have this photo paper here that has a border around it, you can get different design photo paper, which definitely makes it a little bit more fun um, because the photo paper comes that way. So you can order different types of photo paper. Just go over to Amazon uh, using one of the links below and you're gonna see all the different photo papers that are available. There really is quite a lot. All right, so let's go into my photography category here and we're gonna start with the Instax Share Printer which is powered on, the little green light is on there. So I'll, um, I'll go in and uh, find a photo to print. We'll print the same photo on both of them so that we can com uh, compare them side by side. So let's go ahead and find a photo from a recent wedding that I photographed. So we'll tap on that image. And um, you know, I may wanna rotate this so I'll go ahead and edit the picture and we're just gonna rotate and hit okay. That looks a lot better. I'm gonna hit connect and print. It's searching for a printer. And uh, so it's searching for this printer. It, once it finds it, it will start to print. All right, so now it is sending the print to the printer. Uh, one of the main differences between these two is that the Instax printer puts off its own Wi-Fi signal, which you then need to connect to. It's definitely easier when you are away from your home or office where your phone's typically already connected to a Wi-Fi network. Um, the Polaroid does connect via Bluetooth instead, which means you're not gonna have to worry about jumping around between connections. With the Instax, if it's unable to find the printer, what you're gonna need to do is go into the Wi-Fi settings of your device and make sure that the Instax printer is selected. All right, so we have our print just popped out of the front here, and uh, just like a Polaroid, it is kind of warming up and, and um, going through its process of, uh, uh, there's a word for it, I'm not too sure what it is. So let's go over to the Polaroid. I need to make sure that it is in fact powered up. So we'll go ahead and hold down that button until I see a white light on the back. We will go into our photography app, our photography category, because I keep all of my apps categorized. We'll choose Polaroid printer, connect to device. We'll choose the device and it's gonna go ahead and connect and then I will scroll down to a photo, select that photo. I can edit it, do anything I want to that and then tap on print and then make any little changes that I wanna make to that print and then tap on the print button, choose the amount of copies and then hit print. So there's some little differences there, even just in the printing process with this. On the Instax, you have a reprint button on the side of the printer. So after I print this one photo, all I have to do is just hit the reprint button on the side of the printer and I print another one. Whereas with this Polaroid printer, what I would do is choose how many prints that I want from within the app. So it's slightly different process. So the Polaroid printer is now printing. The photo out of the Instax is starting to kind of come alive a little bit more, but it's not totally finished. So I went ahead and did a full bleed on this, which means I'm printing edge to edge on the print. And so it's coming out, uh, you know, fully exposed, I guess you'd say. All right, so there's our print. So let's take a look at these prints. I know that the Instax one is not completely done exposing yet. The Polaroid print from the Polaroid printer is ready to go. And it's a decent print. It's not super detailed. I'm gonna upload a couple of photos for you to take a look at uh, so that you can see a little bit more detail. I know it's kind of hard to tell in this YouTube video, um, you know, which print is higher quality. Uh, so make sure to follow along on our Instagram account, which is at State of Tech, because I'll upload a photo there so that you can see uh, kind of a, side, a much better side-by-side -side comparison of these. So, you know, two different printers, I, probably for kind of two different people. Um, 
I like the nostalgia of, of this. I mean, I've used the Instax printer now at a couple of weddings because I do some wedding photography. Um, and, and I've printed out some photos and handed them to the bride and groom and they've just thought that it was great. I mean, with this type of print, it definitely gives you something to hold on to um, instead of touching the print with your fingers, whereas this print is edge to edge, so it's more of a typical photo. Um, but you know, both of these photos are uh, are are nice considering they're just out of an instant printer. They're not of the same quality that you're going to get if you printed with a professional photo printer or you went to a photo lab or something like that. These are just kind of fun keepsake photos that are more of the quality level of um, of like a photo booth or something like that. So you know, I can't tell you which printer to get because I think each of these printers and uh, not just the printer, but the actual photo paper and what it produces are for kind of two different kind of needs or, or likes. Um, what I can say is that this Polaroid printer, I think, is better on the go. It's a little bit faster. The photos are ready to go right away, and it's easier to load. And this is 50 sheets right here versus, and this is 60 sheets. So you're carrying this around with you versus carrying this around. Um, and from my limited testing with these, the Polaroid does seem to have a little bit better battery life than the Instax printer. The Instax printer would do about 25 prints, 20 to 25 prints before it needed a new charge. And the Polaroid, I was able to get uh, about 25 and I didn't even notice really any issue with the battery. So I think the Polaroid might last a little bit longer with the battery, but uh, it could also have been the circumstances uh, in which I was using it. So. Pretty cool, I mean, these instant printers are fun. Uh, there isn't an, a need for everybody to have one, but if you like giving people photos, actual photos, which we don't typically do these days, we usually text message our photos. Um, here's, this has just been a, a slight breakdown of these little printers just to kind of give you an idea of which one's better. And, and the reason that I did this is because the only way that I was able to find out was to actually buy them. Um, I looked online to try and see which one was better and nobody had really that great of an answer for me. Uh, so now I know that probably, you know, the one that I will stick with for, for my liking is, uh, is the Polaroid, simply because it's slim, it's much smaller, I can carry this with me, much easier than having to carry all of this with me. Um, I also feel that you get a little bit bigger image, uh, considering that, um, you know, this is a two by three print, you get a slightly larger image from this two by three print than you get out of this kind of Polaroid looking print, but the nostalgia is just too awesome. This is very much like the Polaroids of the past. So anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up, share it with someone else. Remember that the links are in the description below so that you can check out all of this stuff. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. And if you want to get updated when we put out new videos, make sure to click on that subscribe button. Thanks again, and we hope to see you soon here on State of Tech.